Okay, so hello everyone, and um, I know this video is getting out kind of late today, that's because I'm going to show you how to make this really nice um, supper. So we are going to be making stromboli, which some of you may be thinking that that means calling the pizza place. That's not what we're doing. Before we get started, I want to show you something really neat. This is the gift I got. And it lights up. Reminds me of the rose from um, Beauty and the Beast. So that's what I got. So pretty. I need to turn it off and you guys can get there. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Um, so, we're going to be making stromboli. Right. So, you can use any pizza dough. Whatever pizza dough you use in your house is cool. I got my oven preheating to 400, which is what you need to have. Um, I use um, Pillsbury Classic crust, but like I said, you can use any pizza dough you would like. I actually got this recipe from a friend of mine. tomato, basil, garlic, but you can use any kind of sauce you want, whatever pizza sauce you use for homemade pizza. If you don't make homemade pizza, well, then whatever kind of spaghetti sauce you like. And I'm just using the Frego uh, spaghetti sauce. If there's holes, you know, you have to patch them up a little bit, but... There we go. Right. I'll be right back and you tend to open this for me. amount of how much sauce you put on. It's basically however much sauce you want. Um, my man <laughs> drowns his in sauce. I don't. gives me heartburns. I just take a big spoon and kind of put it on and then just spread it. Let me bring the camera down so I can show you what I'm doing. Actually let him put the sauce on his own because here I 
likes to drown it. She just like dumps his on it. Take a little more care. And then you want to use whatever kind of cheese you like on your pizza. Um, I use mozzarella. I have used cheddar before. One time I didn't have time to go to the store and all I had was cheddar. So I put cheddar on one time. But um, I actually went to the store this afternoon um, and got a uh, mozzarella. And you can use ham or meatballs or sausage or pepperoni. Whatever kind of toppings you like on your pizza. You can have whatever you like. I personally, I like turkey pepperoni. Um, to me, if I can get them open, they taste the same. <laughs> there we go. So these are turkey pepperonis. To me, they taste the same. I don't notice the difference ever since I started using these instead of the regular. Um, they might be a tad bit spicier, but I like them. They're really good. They make great homemade stromboli. They great make great homemade pizza. Uh, the recipe for this will be in the description below. Like I said, there's really no set amounts. Um, it's basically preferences. You're all done with your finished masterpiece. Now comes the fun part. You just take one side, bring it over, and just fold it. And you can try to close the edge if you want. I usually don't, but for this video I'm going to. And try to get it on the center of your cookie sheet. I'm trying to think where my baby wipes are. I have a little bit of mess. So let's go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, when your oven gets to 400, you're going to bake it for 15 minutes. Now, if you put warm sauce on it, it take a tad bit longer, but you're looking for it to be nice and golden brown. And it is delicious. Um, so, how much time do I have? I have enough time to kind of, I'm not sure if I have enough time to show you the finished product, but I have enough time to put it into the oven with you guys so um yeah so Monday I'll be with my brother again um we probably will not go outside just because um because it's freezing um but we probably will um, be doing a video where we're going to show you the cats um from inside if they are on the porch. Alright, so 400. Again. Set your timer for 15 minutes. Comes out, let it cool, and enjoy. So I will put the recipe in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss another episode of Cat Gabby number one. Now, I am going to be looking into putting pictures up um, for my cover, for my banner, 
is what they call it, and my profile pic. Um, just wanted to get some pictures of me and the pretty kitties at my house. Um, also, Monday I will be with my brother. We'll be um, hopefully seeing some kitties that are going to be on the porch from indoors and possibly um, getting a tour of my brother's room. And yeah, and then on Wednesday we'll be doing another episode of The Family Cats. Also, um, I'm going to be changing the name of the channel. Same place, I'm just going to be changing the name. Um, so, we'll be doing that. Um, I'm not sure if you have any suggestions of what I should um, change my channel name to. Put it in the comments below. That'd be great. So, I will put a picture of the finished product on Facebook and Instagram. I am actually also on MeWe now, so check me out there. Um, so, I hope you, the rest of you will be in the description below. I hope you had a great time watching me make homemade shrimp boy. Like I said, it's easy, it's quick, and it's, it's really delicious too. <laughs> So I will see you guys Monday. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great weekend because I know I am going to have a fabulous one. So, here we go. Hi, Rino. And Hera's over here. Cutest kitties in the whole wide world. You want some love? You want some love for the camera? <laughs> Getting close up of kitty faces here. They're always so curious about the camera. You curious about the camera? Alright, well, I gotta go. I got battery. Going bye bye. In 13 minutes, I'll be taking the picture. Okay. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great weekend. And remember, cute kitties make for a stress free life.